Hello! Welcome to Knittin' from the Mitten. My name is Tiffany and I am coming to you from Midland, Michigan, which is also known as the Mitten State. You can find me on Ravelry and Periscope as Tiff Grooms Dogs, on Instagram as Knittin' from the Mitten, and we have a Ravelry group called Knittin' from the Mitten Podcast. I would just love it if you joined the group. So this week I have an FO, some whips, some spinning, and some other goodies. So first up is my FO. I finished my bobble hat! Yay! Oh, I was so excited to finish this. And I showed this last week and it was almost done and I finished it up. See, I think I finished the hat that night and I added the pom-pom the next night. So very, very happy. Um, it is mostly patents. The purple is patents, the cream is patents, and the blue is nature spun. And I used, for the ribbing, I used the needle that it called for, which was 4 millimeter. And for the body of the hat, I went up a needle size because I didn't have the needle it called for available. And, um, but it seemed to work out pretty good. I think, I think if I would have used the size it called for, I would have been just fine. It's a little bit big, but it's not bad. I'd rather have it too big than, than too small. So, very happy with that. Um. I think it's a little bit slouchy, but I think it's going to be super, super cozy for winter, so very happy. Like I said, the last one I made was way too small. I ended up giving it to my niece, um, but I am very, very, very happy with how this one turned out. Um, and that's a free pattern, if you didn't know, um, but I'm sure everyone's seen that one. It's been out for like a year or so. Um, so, um, one of my whips that I've got this week is one that I started a while ago, um, and I just kind of dug it out this week. So, it is my husband's hunting socks, and if you've watched before, you'll know that I shrunk his first pair of hunting socks that I made him. So, these are Ethan's hunting socks 2.0 is what I called them. And, uh, last time I showed them... I was way up here so I had just cast them on and that was about all I did and I just decided to get these going this week um, his birthday is October 10th so I'm kind of hoping that I can get these done by then um, I really really want to get them done originally I was gonna try for his birthday and then I said I would just wait until opening day which um, which for um, there's there's October 1st and there's also November 15th. So I was going to do November 15th. Um, but I think I'm going to try and get these done by October 10th on his actual birthday. So I'm going to try them on him as I go and make sure this one fits. And then kind of secretly work on the other one. So that way he doesn't know that he's getting them for his birthday. <laughs> but I want to make sure that they fit him right and everything. Um, and he wants a nice long cuff. So I want to make sure everything's just right. Um, but I'm doing the Blueberry Waffle Socks pattern. This is Patton's Croy FX in the Clover Colors colorway, which I had him pick these out, and he loves green. So it's looking... I think this is going to be a really good pair of socks for him. They're just so squishy and cozy. And I think they'll keep them warm. Um, the needles I'm using are High High of Sharps, um, 2.25. And... I also started the second one just yesterday, but they're not very far. But I just didn't want to get second sock syndrome, so I was like, I'm going to cast this sucker on. Get going on it. Um, but like I said, I'm going to get the one done, try it on, make sure everything's the way it is, take notes, and um, then... Oh, here's what the yarn looks like. Um, and then I'll secretly finish the other one. So, really fun. Um, and the needles for the other pair are just ones from Joann's. I think that's Susan Boy. I think, I think, I think. Um, but they're actually not too bad. They bend pretty easily, but Haya Haya Sharps will always be my favorite. Oh my gosh, I have a new, new love for them that I realized this week that I just can't. I want them all. I want to only use Haya Haya Sharps for everything now. <laughs> Although I do like the Chow Gu uh, ones as well. So another project that I've been working on quite a bit this week, or at least I've been drawn to work on a lot this week, um, I'm really needing to work on other projects, but I just wanted to work on this one so bad, 
were my spring dream socks and I know it's not spring and I know this is not the right color for right now but I can't stop wanting to work on these um so I showed these like two or three weeks or two or three episodes ago this is where I was at um and I just I always found myself wanting to pick these up so I just every time I wanted to pick it up I'd do like maybe two rows or something and then work on my other projects um that I've been wanting to get done but I think it's just a combination of the yarn and the colors the colors I just think they're so pretty and this is mint rain hand dyed yarns um this is her spring dreams colorway and I believe she said this was a sock club that she had so I don't know if she has this I don't believe she has this currently in her shop but I know that she does custom colorways so if this is one that you really like I'm sure she'd be willing to dye it up um but I just love working on this I want to do it right now <laughs> but the now these circulars are chow goos and I'm just loving it I'm loving just going knitting and round and it's been really really relaxing and enjoyable I think I've just been kind of needing like a not have to think about it knit and so I've been really drawn to those this week um, but the purpose that I had cast those on was for you know going to the movies and um, you know when I have to you know go to the you know Secretary of State or something and I'm gonna be sitting there for a while just to not have something to grab quick and go and not have to mess with um, instructions and stuff and um I didn't really I was just working on them here I just really loved working on them this week so I'm just going with it if I want to work on it I think I should work on it so um, but I just thought that was funny because the purpose was to kind of have that in the background as as a uh, oh we're going to the movies kind of knitting um my other project I worked on this week was my Madewell I did not get as far on this as I wanted to I was really hoping to get to um where you tie off the sleeves and I'm so, I'm seriously like three rows away and I was trying to get it done last night but I was just too tired and uh, and I didn't have enough time this morning so I am sure I will be there by next week <laughs> so there's my marker from last week so just a couple rows um, but like I said I'm so close and I can't wait to tie off where the sleeves because then I can kind of try it on and see how it's gonna fit so um, I'm really really excited so far it's it should fit because my gauge was okay and um, the size that I'm making is three quarters of an inch positive ease so I think it should be okay we'll see we'll try that next week um, and I worked on my campsite I also wanted to get to the end of this chart, but I also did not get to do that either. So the orange marker is where I was. So just about an inch and a half or so of work. Um, but you see my eyelets, I got my yarn overs I did right this time. <laughs> Which so many of you were so sweet and saying, you know, there's no right or wrong way and you guys are really sweet about it. But I am much happier with how these are turning out. Um, so you do this first chart, you do it three times. And I am on, I, I once again have like three rows of this chart on the third time. So um, almost there. And this is just the squishiest yarn. This is um, all merino. And it is um, Simplicity by Haiku. And I love it. It's so squishy. It's a DK. Um, the pattern is free. It's Campside by Alicia Plummer. And uh, I'm just loving this. I can't wait to wear this. All my shawls. I just want them done. <laughs> I'm not I'm not in a process mood for my for my shawls right now. I just want them done so I can have them, which is really funny because I love it when I, you know, can kind of do like a process knit and just enjoy the process of knitting, which is how I feel about my um my spring dream socks I'm just loving knitting on them you know I'm in no rush to get them done I kind of want it to go on forever but all my shawls I just want them <laughs> I want to wear them um 
So and maybe that's because I don't have a lot of shawls. I just started shawl knitting, and so I only have my Pure Joy shawls. So I, maybe that's why I just want a closet full of shawls and cardigans and sweaters. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Oh, my cozy memories. I also have a square on here that I didn't show last week that I had done. So I wanted to show that for sure. This was the one I did last week. And speaking of my Pure Joy, this is basically a Pure Joy square because this tan was all I had left of that. And then, so I just added on the, um, the mauve color that I had um, done the project with. And it looks like, like a mini version of my Pure Joy because this was the wedge that I used, the, the color I used for the wedge. So I thought that was kind of cool how that worked out. Um, and this is Cascade Heritage Solids. And this is Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns in Claire's Hunting Cape Black colorway. So that was from last week. Um, this week I just got this one done. This is just the purple one. Um, I don't know if I ever showed these socks on the podcast maybe in the beginning but I don't remember um but I had participated in the Harry Potter knit along with inside number 23 and vegan jelly um the knitting broomstick and um sh I had done a pair of socks for that and that was um the fox pattern fox the phoenix and this was the yarn I used for that and it's it's called um, wool, like it's actually acrylic, but it's very soft. You'd never know. But um, it's from Michaels, and it is a three ply, not a four ply, so it's a little bit thinner. So the socks really didn't fit quite right. Um, but it's a really pretty pattern. But they fit okay. But it's just a little snug. Um, and then this is the same yarn, but this is just a gray one, and this is the yarn that I used to knit um, Ethan's sock head hat. So I'm putting these in there, and it's getting bigger. Yay! So exciting. I love this. Love it, love it. And I'm getting more and more minis around to uh, to make my to make my blanket grow, so I'm very, very happy about that. So the knit along that is currently going on in the group is the Connecting Continents knit along, which is where you knit a pattern from one country with a yarn from another country. And it's being co-hosted by myself and Catherine of the Lou Cookie Knits podcast. And um, it is going on until September 30th. The project that I am working on, or have been working on for the knit along is the On the Spice Market Shawl by Melody Berg. And I gave this a little bit of love this week, which for some reason in the past I haven't been working on very much. And I decided to give it some love and I was very, very happy to work on it. So, let's see. Here is where I'm at. Um, the marker is where I was at last week. So I got, um, I got quite a bit of this little mesh part done. And what you do, um, you do four of these with that color. I don't think this is giving too much away. This is a paid for pattern, but I think you could see this on, on in a picture. But you do four repeats of this in um, the one color, and then you do go down the gradient. So I just started, um, let's see, I just started the second darkest color. So very, very excited about that. And I have all these ends to weave in, so that'll be fun. I started doing some of them down here, but... So, yeah, that's really coming along. Very, very happy with it. This is another one of those things that I just really want the end product. And I really hope that changes for me, because I really want to be a process knitter. I don't want to be just a product knitter. But I really want this shawl really bad. And like I said, I'm hoping that once I have more of these things... Um, around that it won't be as much of a, a product knit for me um, because I do just want to kind of enjoy enjoy the process and um, you know enjoy the journey <laughs> but 
I oh, love working on those socks. Like I said, that is definitely my process net right now. I just love it. That and my Madewell. My Madewell, I really enjoy just knitting on it. I'm not really in a rush to get it done because it is a fingering weight cardigan. I know it's going to take me a while, so um, I'm just kind of going with that, with the flow with on that one too. So maybe I process knit more than I thought I did. So that's good. <laughs> um, the yarn I'm using is Cascade uh, Heritage Solids, which is another gray. And then um, the gradient set is Miss Babs. Actually, looks like I have one of them. This is the Dark Perseus color, but this is one of her tags. Yummy Two Ply Toes. I love this yarn. Oh my gosh. Um, I really, really love it. It is got a nice high twist to it, and so it doesn't split at all. Like, at all. And the Cascade does a little bit. Um, but I still love it. It's so incredibly soft. But oh my gosh, the that Miss Babs base doesn't split at all, and I love it. Um, I am wishing I had high high sharps for that project um, because you do a couple, you know, where you're knitting more than one stitch together, and I am really seeing the difference of having a sharp tip makes for that and. I really, really want to get like a set of high high sharps now, either an interchangeable set or maybe start collecting some of the tips that I need for different projects and then just getting the different um, cables for it. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I, I really want them regardless. I don't know. I'll one way or another, I'm thinking for Christmas maybe that I would like to get a set of those. Um... So that is my On the Spice Market shawl. Like I said, um, the cal goes until September 30th. Um, I showed the prizes last episode. And um, the, oh, and also I wanted to mention as well that the Tulsi Socks pattern by the Wool Club is a prize for the chatter thread for that knit along um, in, in my group. So um, feel free to, to chat along and then you'll be in the running. Um, for that pattern. Um, and I also wanted to give a special little shout out um, to Catherine. Um, I'm sending you a big, big hug to you. I know you're going through a really rough time and I just want to know, let you know that I'm thinking about you and that um, I am definitely had you in my prayers. So um, that's just what I wanted to say to you, Miss Catherine. Um, and um, that is it then for Knit Along News. Um, next I want to talk about some spinning. I haven't talked about spinning in forever. Um, here's what I've got, what I've been working on. This lovely, lovely thing. Let's get some extras that I've broken on accident. <laughs> so, so squishy. I wish you could feel this. It's so soft. Oh, it's just, it's all merino. Um, I believe it's super wash. It is super wash. And it's from Countess of Blaze. And it is Prayed to All the Divinities is the colorway name. Oh, but I just love it. I love, love, love this. And I'll show what I've spun. So here's what I've got done so far. Um, I love how pastel -y it looks once it's spun up. Like I feel, you know, comparatively, it looks a lot lighter. Um, but I don't know. I just, oh, I love how it's spinning up. And I'm really, really learning a lot from this spin. I'm very much a new spinner. Um... And I'm just, oh, I'm loving it. I My original plan was to do a three-ply, because I've only done that one other time. Um, but I think I'm actually just going to do a two-ply, because the last one that I did didn't turn out quite as well as I wanted it to, and I'm really not spinning as thin as I want to. So I think I'm just going to do a two-ply, because I want a more of a a thinner yarn, but, um, I'm just, I'm not being too hard on myself for it. I'm just kind of going with it and learning from it because like I said, I am a newer spinner and 
I need to practice more. <laughs> so I'm just kind of going with it. But oh, I just love this. Aren't these just the coolest colors? I love it. I love going on Etsy and looking at different fibers. Because the stuff that people have come up with and that have maybe hand painted or things like that are just gorgeous. Like Three Waters Farm, if you have not looked at them on Etsy, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. They're definitely on my list for fiber that I want to get. I'm also hoping to get some fiber when I go um, to the Ann Arbor Fiber Fact Expo. <laughs> um, so we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. But... Um, so that's the little bit of spinning that I've been doing. Um, let's see. Oh, I also wanted to mention that um, we have a giveaway going on in the thread. I'm going to leave that open till next week just to give people more of a chance to, to enter. Um, and it's for this lovely, lovely, lovely skein from Serenity Farms in Alma, Michigan. And it is all Corydale. It's called Gravel Road at Dark. Um, it's a three-ply woolen spun. It's about a sport weight, she said, and it's 250 yards, and it came from Castle and Ainsley, the sheep on their farm. So I'll see if I can get a close-up of that. Oh, it's just so lovely and so woolly. And this was spun at a mill in Michigan as well. But I just adore this. So, um... And the prompt for that, in the it's in my Ravelry thread, is um, what is your most treasured skein of yarn? And if you want, you can post pictures. Um, some people have them, which has really been fun. But you don't have to. You do not have to post a picture if you don't want to. I know it's kind of a extra step. but So feel free um, to enter that giveaway, and that will be um, until next week. That will be open until next week. And other thing I wanted to mention... Um, is that I had kind of briefly spoke about last episode of a cozy or mug along. Um, so just basically a knit along, also crochet along. I wanted to mention that as well. Um, for any of my knit alongs, I don't mind if you crochet, really. I think if I didn't want you to, I'll just mention it, but feel free. I want everybody to join in and have fun. And um, You know, if it's a certain knitting pattern that we'll be knitting together, then obviously that doesn't really work, but, you know, for these generic, um, generic knit-alongs, like a, co like a mug cozy one, feel free to crochet a mug cozy if you want, um, you know, because that, sometimes those are fun too, so I, I do crochet, I just don't do it quite a, quite as much anymore, but, um, so I'm thinking of having that knit-along, um, starting sometime in the middle of October, I'll, uh, finalize that once I get um, once I get that figured out, but figure we'll have it go for a month, um, pretty easy to get a little, you know, FO out of that, so, um, let me know what you think, I do have a thread in the Ravelry group about that, um, I just think that'd be kind of fun, especially, you know, you can make it for Christmas presents, get some Christmas presents out of the way, um, you know, it's a cozy time of year, so it'd be nice to have a, you know, a cozy mug to, to keep your, keep your tea or your coffee warm. Um, and then last but not least, I'm going to talk about some some goodies that I've gotten. So this week for some goodies that I received, um, I was at my, um, my grandma and my cousin's birthday party, which they have the same birthday, and um, that was on Sunday, today's Tuesday, and um, I got to see a bunch of my family that was on my dad's side, and um, my my aunt Claudia, who I haven't I haven't seen in a couple months. Um, we hadn't had a chance to to get together, so she had my birthday present, which was really cool. My birthday was back in May, um, so I've got some some birthday presents to show you that I received, and some of them are yarny related. So this is one of the things um, that she gave me. It's called um, Time for Tea by Mary Englebright, and this is just the cutest little coffee table book. Um, let's see if I can show you this easily. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, so cute. And I have totally been wanting, um, like a tea, like a tea book, you know, just to have with pretty pictures to sit out and 
just to kind of thumb through and it's just really really sweet some tea recipes this was a nursery tea a little tea party <gasps> So very, very sweet. Um, I was really, really excited to, ooh, look at that, that's pretty. I was really excited to receive this. And she also got me, I don't have it, oh, look at this. Oh, look how little they are. Oh, I love little things, that's so cute. <laughs> um, she, she also got me a really, really sweet um, ceramic teapot, which I don't have with me. I left it at my mom's, um, for safekeeping. Um, since Ethan and I don't have our own house yet, I figured I would just kind of keep it wrapped up. And, you know, when we do move into our house that, um, it would kind of be like another surprise. So, uh, that's, that's at my mom's, but it's this really, it's actually similar to this color. It's, um, uh, like a really pretty pastel -y pink. So pretty. She also gave me some yarn oh so sweet she knows that i love patents and so she wasn't using these anymore so she very very kindly gave me these um i love this blue like a cornflower blue so pretty and i was thinking of all the bobble hats i can make with that and Maybe some more Nordic wind shawls or even change up the colors to my Nordic winds. And then there's this brown. So very, very, very thankful for that. Oh, it just smells so sheepy. I love it. Love that blue a lot. <laughs> um, so I can't wait to figure out what to make with that. And let's see. Um... Oh, I got this from my husband this week. This is a little tea of life. It is um, green tea, honey, mango, and there's 50 bags in here. And this was so sweet. He picked this up for me because he said he knows I love the little tins. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I do. I love the tins. <laughs> Whenever we um, go shopping and I see tea in the store I'm like oh I like that but I like it because of the tin like that's literally the reason why I want it so I thought that was so cute he's such a sweetheart um but I I just tried it for the first time last night and it's very very yummy so and then my my biggest goodie of the week came in the mail oh look at it oh isn't it cute this is a Little Bobbins project bag, which I'm sure you recognize, um, that she made especially for the Wooly Thistle, which is um, Claire, who is the host of the New Hampshire Knits podcast. And the Wooly Thistle is her shop, which I had mentioned before. It's the shop that um, sells UK-based yarns. And um, so, so Danny made these sweet little bags for her shop to sell, and there was only a few of them, and I can't believe how lucky I was to snag one of these. Um, there was three separate times that she posted these, that, that Claire posted these for sale, and I missed out on the first two. So, very lucky. Look at that sweet little sheepy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Isn't he just precious? And I just love that he's got that sweet little scarf. And look at this. I love this detail of how it's just that precious little leaf and the little heart. So cute. And then there's her tag, which, of course, it's not going to focus, but it says um, Little Bobbins. And then it also came with this sweetie little Progress Keeper, which is a little... Um, a little leaf and I just love how she stamps her tags that's her website uh, but I just I love everything about this I've been keeping it nice and neat on my desk so I didn't get anything on it and I just love it her bags are fantastically made um, they're such good quality I have one other one that, um, 
if you've watched the podcast before you've seen it it's got the little socks on the line and I am very very careful with them because they're just so nice I don't want them to get dirty you know I I don't take them outside I just kind of keep them around um around the house but they're so sweet so um like I said, I'm very, very happy that I was able to get one of those um, because I don't think she's going to be making them again. So I feel very blessed that I was able to snag one. I also wanted to mention thank you, Danny, for the kind words you said about my mom um, on Instagram about her being on the podcast. That was so, so sweet of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so other than that, I think it's going to be a little bit of a, of a shorter episode. Um, that's all I really got for this week. Um, yeah, I believe that's it. So I hope that you guys are once again happy and healthy and enjoying life and enjoying your knitting and trying to be a process knitter <laughs> because I just think I just think it's a good thing to, to be a process knitter and just not get stressed out by trying to get things done and um, which I know is easier said than done. I, I do it as well, but um, just try and enjoy your knitting and, um, you know, taking it easy and taking care of yourselves. And on that note, my, um, my wrist is doing much better. Thank you for all the sweet comments about that from last episode. Um, basically, I don't know, I probably was just overusing it at work, um, because on Sunday I was knitting all day and my wrist didn't hurt at all. So I think it's more of a work problem, um, which made me very happy. <laughs> That it wasn't an editing problem. Um, so I'm going to see what I'm doing wrong at work and try and, um, you know, work smarter, not harder. So, um, so tangent. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying yourselves. And I will talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.